I have to warn you, this is a prophetic warning coming from the Lord. That place is not safe. It doesn't look like it. It looks all green. It looks like a line of possibilities. It looks like a place where you can have opportunities. It looks like an avenue where you can explore, but it is not safe. Do not be fooled. Men of the spirit do not walk by sight. No. Men of the spirit do not walk by the things they see with their physical eyes. They walk by the things they see with their faith eyes or with the eyes of the spirit. And so you cannot just look at the land because it looks beautiful, because it is a land of opportunity, because you have heard others made it in that place and you think it is the right place for you to be, it is the right place for you to go. It is not and it might just be your end if you get to go there. It might just be the end of your beautiful story or it might just complicate your life totally. There are certain places you step into and it complicates your life totally. The Bible tells us about a story of, I mean, there are so many stories in the Bible, but I just want to take these two examples. The land of Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible says that when Lot separated with Abraham, when Abraham told him, choose, wherever you decide to go, I'm going to go the other, the other way. He looked over at the land where Sodom and Gomorrah was found and it was beautiful. It was vibrant. It was green, promising, a land where you could think he is going to have a lot of prosperity, a land where you could think he was going to have a lot of opportunities. But we all know how the story ends. The land of Sodom and Gomorrah ends up being destroyed. And everything, everything Lord had worked hard for, he had to abandon and run for his life. He had to abandon them and run for his life when the judgment of God came upon the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. The same thing happened, a similar thing happened to the family of Elimelech. I have shared that with us over some, I mean, countless times. I can begin to count. And the land of Bethlehem, they were going through a temporal kind of difficulty. And they decided, Elimelech and family decided to move to Moab. <clears throat> excuse me because it was green over there it looked beautiful over there it was fertile over there and we all know what happened to the family of Elimelech we know Elimelech died his two sons died and Naomi was left alone with her two daughters in law just alone with them thank God he preserved her life for uh, for reasons um god gave me revelations about it but i'm not um i'm not about to share that with us right now maybe i'll get to share that with us some other time when um i i when the opportunity comes or when god gives me a prophetic word that is in that light but just naomi was preserved from her from her from her family do not be moved by sight if at all you want to be moved by anything, it should be by the eyes, with the eyes of faith, with the eyes of faith, the eyes of the spirit. You know, natural men and spiritual men are two different people. Natural men operate by their five senses, you know, but the spiritual man has another sense. I'd love to call it a sixth sense, a sense that is not physical, that is not, you cannot explain it. You can only, um, you can only feel it. You can only perceive it. I pray that God is going to sharpen your perception, even in this season, that you will not be misled by what you see. You will not be misled by the things around you. You will not be misled by opportunities, but you are going to hearken to the voice of the Lord and ask him exactly where he would have you be in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you.